this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse Matthew 24, verse 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, and preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, recent news article from the Jerusalem Post about, uh, dot com. Published May the 25th, 2023, by Mohammed Al Kazam. The media line reports the ones that published this news article from the Jerusalem Post as May the 25th, 2023, and it reads Mounting tensions between Israel and Iran, the Herald Possible Military Showdown. It says, Havli Halevi. Further accuse Iran of being involved in everything around us and everyone who is against us, including strategically, strategy, intelligence, and funding. It says tensions between Iran and Israel soared to an unexpected heights on Tuesday as both nations trade threats. Lieutenant General Harvey Heavily, if I pronounce his name right. The Israeli military chief, uh, military chief of staff stated on Tuesday that if Iran continues to develop its nuclear program, it says Israel will be left with no choice but to stage a preemptive attack. And it says uh, Iran has has progressed in recent years with the enrichment uranium more than ever before he said we are looking closely at the various arenas that are part of the path of the nuclear capability there are negative potential trends on the horizon that could lead to us acting we have the capabilities Let's see if it's actually more of a, of the reading or would it probably be it. Uh, so lock it for all this, all the ads popping up. I think that's all the read right there. So as I bring out the uh, scripture again. In the Matthews 24 and 6. So yeah, a... Hey. Uh, these tensions are definitely uh, rising between Iran and Israel now so more than ever as I bring out the uh, Matthews 24 and 6 once again so hey this is definitely going to continue to escalate between the two different nations and I'm going to read it again for edification sake of the sit down lesson and the rising tensions between Iran and Israel is at an all time high this is uh, Matthews 24 and 6, and I'm going to read it again for edification's sake of through the Holy Scriptures. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? This is a rumor of war. Mounting tensions between Israel and Iran is at an all-time high. And that's an uh, indicator right there of the growing and increasing of uh, wars and rumors of wars between the different nations and different kingdoms. And that's what we are witnessing and seeing in the latter days. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And I'm going to go back to verse 7 again as well, too. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. 
wars and rumors of wars. These are prime examples of right here, as it says again, mounting tensions between Israel and Iran, possible military showdown, right? And we're gonna continue to see that grow and increase between these two different nations of the uh, hostilities and tensions that they have against one another. So it's gonna continue to grow and show forth now so more than ever in the, in the latter days. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. And I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Mokar Kadash. And uh, Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.